Hey, Motorman here. I'm at Newport Ritchie Harley Davidson, and I'm about to a comparison that I haven't seen on YouTube, and I think one that's is really justified. Let's take a look. This is the Lowrider ST 2023 model. Of course, it's got the hard bags, the fairing. 17 motor but is it as good or is it better than the street glide ST or even the road glide ST which is really the same bike but with a different ferry well, okay the first thing I noticed getting on this bike though the seat appears to be just about the same seat as you have on the street glide ST and I, it feels like it's narrow in front so I'm a little bit closer to the ground but at 5'7 29 inch inseam I could flat foot both motorcycles on this bike we've got the newer gauges they moved them up from the console up here but I gotta tell you that's that's the uh, I believe the same gauge you get on the, the street Bob it's kind of small and uh, we'll go through a couple of modes right now it's on RPMs we could switch it over to miles a and B the odometer reserve 113 miles left and of course the time the bars on this bike uh, I, I'm almost now the, by the way the this model the ST does have a little bit more pullback than the standard lowrider s but still my arms are completely outstretched and I'd have to lean forward to do any kind of uh, low speed maneuvers but that's a style and I guess people like that so let's take it out for a ride again this got the 117 motor just like my bike street glide ST and mid controls when I listened back to the video I realized it was a I said a very windy day and it was just too much wind noise it even drowned out my voice so i'm going to do a voiceover for this but i could tell you i've owned a lowrider s and the, the only difference between the standard lowrider s and the st is of course the fairing quite a large fairing and the saddlebags uh, technically the handlebars position is a little bit closer to the rider because these uh, risers have just a little bit more pullback than the lowrider s but the position that you're in with the, the mid controls and your, your feet up high is not near as comfortable as any of the Harley touring bikes. Now I know the, the purpose for that is where you're cruising down or, or tearing up your uh, local winding road or you're up in the canyons or the mountains. Mid controls are supposed to be better for handling the motorcycle under those conditions. Uh, I've never found that to be the case. I find the floorboards to be just as easy to go around a, a winding road as mid-mounted controls. And on the ST and all the touring models, the floorboards are uh, much more forward than these mid-controls. With that said, I, the, the ride, I would say, is possibly a, a little bit more plush or a little bit softer on the Lowrider ST because you've got an inch taller shock in the back, so it gives you a, a little bit more of a... Up, just a plusher easier ride of course you can adjust it so if you want it firmer there's an adjustment on it just turn the dial and you can have as firm a ride as you want and it's something that I would suggest when you're tearing up your local or your favorite uh, winding mountain road a turn in on these bikes really nice feels really good when you turn those handlebars the bike reacts immediately power wise well since you got 115 pounds less weight than you do on a street glide or road glide st it's definitely quicker you can especially feel it right off of idle when you give it the gas from a stop uh, you get into 60 i would imagine a tenth or two quicker than you would with the street glide or road glide st turning those bars back and forth the bike reacts very quickly it is, after all, the ST stands for Sport Tourer, and I, I know I'm not going to compare this to like a, a Yamaha FJ1300 or the BMW Sport Tourers. This is a Cruiser Sport Tourer, so you got to keep that in mind. 
it's a really fun bike to ride mainly because of its weight and it's so much torque and that's what you feel when you're accelerating hard it's not horsepower that you're feeling it's the torque it really throws you back in the seat now, speaking of the seat as i said it's quite narrow in the front as is the st model the street glide and the reason for that is that when you're up in the mountains and or on a racetrack wherever you may be and you need to move around quickly on the seat that narrow front part portion of the seat allows you to do that much easier than the plush touring seats that you find on like an ultra so who is this motorcycle for well i'd say the best fit for this type of bike would be somebody who lives up in the smoky mountains or upstate new york where there's some great roads or out in california in the canyons this is where you really appreciate this motorcycle and also you do a lot of city riding got to ride through the city to get to the mountains this is a great bike for that if, if they allow lane splitting like they do in california yeah this would be a much better choice than the road glide st or the street glide st because it's a narrow motorcycle so it's a fun bike to ride and the, the main thing if you're trying to choose between the two of them is price this is actually eighty two hundred dollars less money than the street glide st or the road glide st it comes in at twenty three six forty nine and that's counting the surcharge and the freight so that's MSRP plus surcharge and freight, uh, whatever the dealer charges in addition to that, it, that's up to them. But that's the price versus for the Street Glide ST or Road Glide ST 31849 when you add those two things. So it's $8,200, quite big piece of change. Now, if you're trying to decide between this bike and let's say a regular standard Street Glide, yeah, the Street Glide is going to be about 800 bucks less money than this bike. It's not going to offer as much performance because it comes with the 107 motor. But comfort-wise, it's going to be better. Uh, on this bike, you could feel actually some vibration through the, the hand grips and, and even the foot pegs. And you won't get that on the Street Glide model, any of them, whether it be a standard Street Glide, the Special, or the ST. Now let's take the Street Glide ST out for a ride and, and compare it directly with this bike. Now on the Street Glide ST, as you can see, the gauges are much larger, much easier to read, even at a glance. And of course you have the radio with the nav system. Uh, you can get that, like I said, with the as an option on the Lowrider ST, and you, you get it when you plug your phone into it or whatever you're using to, to hear music or for navigation. But on this bike, it comes standard. Also, the maneuverability on this bike, I think is probably a little bit better it's a little bit at least for me it's a little bit easier mainly because of the riding position and as an example of maneuverability watch this this is a 18 by 36 figure eight and because of the riding position i think it's a little easier to maneuver than the low rider st out on the road this bike is just a, a great touring motorcycle with one cavet the, the seat, well, the, whether it be the seat on this bike or the Lowrider ST, is good for about an hour, hour and a half before you got to start really moving around. And if you're going to do any kind of long touring on either of the motorcycles, you know, a four or 500 mile day, you might look for a better seat. Comfort wise, I got to give it to this bike because it's a more comfortable riding position. I'm not having to lean forward to reach the handlebars sitting perfectly upright my feet are in a really good position with the full boards on this and it's just you know if your main riding is going to be long distances I, I would definitely take the street glide or road glide st over the low rider of course the best of both worlds would be to have this bike and a low rider and if that was the case i would take the standard low rider and add a fairing to it or, or add bags to it I think you, it would wind up costing you less money but the low rider is a is a fun bike to ride got plenty of power especially with that 117 motor but so does this bike I mean it's seat of the pants difference the only place I felt a difference in power with the extra weight of this bike was right off of uh, idle as you're taking off from a stoplight quickly in that circumstance you could feel the low rider ST just a bit faster i mean it really would depend if you were drag racing somebody it's going to depend on who gets out of the hole quicker and who's better at coordinating the clutch and throttle uh, as you're, you're trying to take off fast but uh, once again if, if you could just have one or the other uh, 
and price is not a you know something that you're looking at if you don't you don't mind the eighty two hundred dollar difference versatility wise i would take this bike it's better for long rides it handles just as well on a winding road remember that this bike has the 13 inch shocks versus the road glide or street glide special which have the lowered shocks on the back and it's only lowered one inch but it does make a difference in ride quality and handling so you're going to scrape a lot sooner you're going to scrape your floorboards a lot sooner on those bikes than you would on the street glide st or road glide st so it's uh if it's not a matter of money yeah i would take this bike if it is a matter of money you could have tons of fun and do any kind of riding that you want on the lowrider st it's just not going to be quite as comfortable on that bike on a long ride as it would be on the street glide or road glide st well that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this and put comments below if you disagree if you agree doesn't matter to me you know just go ahead and comment below don't forget to give me a thumbs up click that notification bell and subscribe to the channel till next time